Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and welcome to another episode of Amazing Fish. So it's been a while since I gave you guys an episode of Amazing Fish, and the main reason why I stopped with the series was because this series is based on my experience, and at that time I just covered all the fish that I pretty much was confident with, and the only fish I had left was fish that I just recently picked up, and I really didn't have a lot of experience with them. With that being said, I feel as if I'm pretty confident now to give you guys a couple of episodes, I think I left off at around episode 70, so this is going to be episode 71 of Amazing Fish. And today's Amazing Fish is coming from my 55 gallon aquarium, and it is the Yo Yo Loach. Okay everyone, so once again this is my 55 gallon aquarium. When you take out rocks and decor and gravel, it probably comes to about 50 gallons of tank space. But anyway, the fish I want to give you guys a look at once again are my yo-yo loaches. So they've been in this aquarium now for about a month and they definitely are some amazing fish. Now the initial reason why I bought these fish was because, as you all may know, this tank is just infested or was infested with Malaysian trumpet snails. I had thousands. If you want to see a video of just how many I had, I'll leave a link in the card section, which is to the top right section of this video. And you can just click on it and you can see the hundreds that I pulled out when I was um, catching them. But yeah, anyway, my Malaysian trumpet snails in this tank were just going crazy. Breeding, breeding, breeding. They were starting to adapt with fancy shells and everything like that. And it was just getting out of hand. So that's the main reason why I went and picked up three of these yo-yo loaches and they definitely took care of the job. I do still find a couple of Malaysian trouble snails here and there, but compared to before, they definitely did an awesome job com controlling that population, if not wiping it out completely. So um, the main reason why I bought them, once again, was because I had too many snails and it did an awesome job cleaning it up. Now, one of the things I love about these yo, yo loaches is their activity. Now, I also keep two other different types of loaches, including clown loaches, and I also have some coolie loaches in this aquarium as well. But um, I find that my yo-yo loaches are definitely the most active. Now maybe it's because it's their size. Mine are pretty small and in this aquarium with fish bigger than them, they, that may help with their comfort level. Compared to my clown loaches, which are in my African Ziggler tank, those are a lot bigger, around five inches and bigger. So maybe that's the reason why they're not as active as the, these yo-yo loaches. But regardless of the reason, mine are very active. They're always moving about in the aquarium, always digging around. I guess they're looking for snails. Um, they interact with each other. And they definitely are some enjoyable fish to keep in an aquarium. So when it comes to keeping the yo-yo loaches, there are a few things you want to consider. First of all, these are loaches. And we all know that loaches are schooling fish. So a school is essential. I only have three and I definitely think that that's not enough. So pretty soon I'm going to be getting um, three more. Having a school is important because it helps them just to be comfortable in an aquarium to swim around and be active as mine are. And also it's important to have a decent number in your school because if not, um, they can be, they do build up a hierarchy like most schooling fish. And if you only have a few, like I only have three and I do see my biggest bully in the other two. And I definitely think and know from experience with my other loaches that if I add more, the bullion on these um, smaller ones can be spread out. So you definitely want to keep these in a group of about six or more. Now they can reach about four to five inches, about maybe an inch, a half an inch thick to an inch thick. So um, I think the minimum tank size for these should be a 55 gallon. Of course, bigger is always better. When it comes to tank mates, once again, you want to keep them in a school. If you keep less, they can have problems with other fish when it comes to fin nipping and being misbehaved. But if you keep them in a good enough school, they definitely mind their business. And they go, do good with a lot of small fish like tetra, rasbora, platys, uh, pretty much whatever you see in this aquarium. Um, just watch out, I guess, for larger species of catfish, which can be aggressive towards these guys and other fish that are known to be territorial. You don't want them to pick on your yo-yo -lo yo -yo loaches. 
Other than that, from experience, I know that these fish are a little bit sensitive when it comes to diseases like ick, and that's because they have no scales. This is the same with all loaches. Um, when, you def when you get them, you gotta watch out for ick because if they do catch ick, um, these fish will have a harder time getting rid of it compared to other fish with scales. And they are sensitive to most treatments for ick, like um, salt and even certain medications. So you definitely don't wanna get ick. Um, the best thing to do is uh, when you get your yo-yo loaches, keep them in quarantine, watch to see if they have anything. Maybe you get those like cordon, which is a product right here. This right here is like, in my opinion, one of the safest treatments when it comes to medication for ick. Usually when I got ick, I don't like to go run into medication. Um, that's just for a worst case scenario. But if you have it, um, that's definitely the product you wanna use. Back there you can look at it and you can see one of my coolie loaches creeping around. But yeah, um, these yo-yo loaches are definitely not too demanding. When, it's come, when it comes to eating, they pretty much accept everything. Mines really enjoy bloodworms along with flakes and stuff like that. So definitely not too demanding when it comes to eating. Um, when you're setting up your aquarium for your yo-yo loaches, I think you get the most activity when they feel comfortable. And they feel very comfortable when there's just a lot of hiding places available as retreats and stuff like that. You can see I have a ton of plants. I have driftwood, I have rocks, all different types of decor. And I think that that really helps them with their comfort level. You can see one right here just sitting there in this little bush of wisteria. And every now and then they go high for, for, for a couple of seconds and then come back out. So YouTube, the yo-yo loach is definitely an awesome fish. Once again, I love the activity level of these fish in my aquarium. I love the fact that they take care of my pest snails and um, just the overall beauty of these fish. With that being said, I'm gonna finish off this video with a couple of close-ups on these beautiful fish. And as always, let me know what you think about this video. Let me, think, let me know what you think about the information that I'm giving you guys, good, bad, whatever it is, let me know. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.